Welcome to another episode of Bison Insider. I'm your host, Mr. John McLemore, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, uh, somebody who's somewhat new to our center, but has been around for, well, probably three or four months, but she's been in the mix quite a bit. Uh, please help me welcome Miss Nimi Graywall. How are you doing, Miss Nimi? Hi, I'm doing great today. Thanks awesome. for asking. Well, I'm, I, I, I aim to please. Um, what is your position here on center? I am the team one or like the construction trades. I am the career counselor over there. Okay, perfect. Uh, and how long have you been working here instead of me trying to do the math in my head? Oh, I've been working here at Job Corps since the beginning of February. Do some oh. math there too. <laughs> so it has been like four months or so. Yep. I was accurate without even realizing I was accurate. It's a special power that you hold. Uh, something. I don't know if that's a special power. I think later Math on. Math is my strong subject, so I think it's a special power for everybody. Okay. Uh, well, let's get to some more, uh, some thought-provoking questions. These are uh, questions you haven't studied for, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure how well you'll do, but we'll just see. Well, I hope I do well. I, I was study. It turned into an awkward pause. I was trying to, to make a joke and it just didn't come out very well. So that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to leave this in there just because it was so awkward, just because I can. Uh, yeah, I'm all for it. I live for the awkward moments. <laughs> well, that was definitely awkward. <laughs> all right. So first question, what is your favorite team activity? Team activity? That's I not really have to be professional, just anything that's a team related. Um, I was really big into organized sports, so I guess sports, whether or not it's just like board games or like competitive, I'm all for it. So were you on the competitive shoots and ladder team or something? Yep. Okay. Actually, it was a competitive Candyland, but yeah, we got our funding ran out, so we couldn't do it anymore. I'm glad you went, went along with that joke. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, how about a favorite book series? Um, I don't really know what the book series is called, but uh, I really got really big into like to all the boys I loved before. They made a Netflix movie about it, and then I just dove right into the books. So I will I will comp to those ones. Okay, perfect. How about uh, this is a little bit more fun one? How about a favorite ice cream topping? Ooh, topping! I'm a hot fudge person. Hot fudge all the way. I kind of expected strawberry, but that's... No. Don't really like strawberries on my ice cream. Okay. Sprinkles, hot fudge, I the whimsical ones. I got you. <laughs> okay. So who would you rather spend a day with? Martha Stewart or Rachel Ray? Oh, that's hard. I want to say Martha Stewart mostly because she has a lot of street cred. And I feel like I could learn a lot from Martha. No hate to Rachel Ray. I think she's great. But I feel like Martha would teach me a lot in my life. Okay. Maybe she'll teach you how to embezzle money. Maybe. Maybe. I, I would like to know how to do that and how she got away with it for so long. <laughs> We're probably going to get in trouble for that, but I don't even care. It's fine. Live on the edge, right? Yeah. All right, so hypothetically speaking, you were stranded on the side of the road. Your cell phone does not work. You have no means of contact with the outside world. You've sat on the side of the road for an hour now. The sun is starting to set, it's starting to get a little cooler in the evening, and you have, seen, you have seen zero cars come by. Literally stranded in the middle of nowhere. What are your next steps? Um, first, try not to panic, because I feel like that would be my first instinct would be panic. Um, and then, um, I've watched too many horror movies to know how this ends for me. Um, but I would say, uh, I wouldn't want to keep walking, because I don't know where I, do I know where I am? Well, middle of nowhere. I don't know if, if anybody knows where nowhere is. 
I think did that, did that, like, do I have did I have a general direction I was trying to head in? I don't know. That wasn't part of the question. That oh, mind. see, I thought provoking. I need I need all of the the rest of the ingredients here. Um, you don't know uh, where you're going. Okay, I you're would just, just going. I would backtrack. I would go in the direction that I came from because at least I know the direction that I was coming from and that if I remember if I saw like a gas station or a payphone or payphone still a thing. I don't know if they are. I if, we'll go with it or like some type of device where I could make a call. So we'll go with gas station or payphone or a payphone at a gas station. Well, you know, that's a lot better response than I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get like I'm going to cry hysterically first and then I'm going to walk away from my car and then forget where I'm going. So I'm directionally challenged. So that's why I said go backwards, not forwards. That's backwards is a great thing. Yeah. Just don't do that in the wintertime. Stay with your no. car. I'm from California where the part where it's nice, like all the time. <laughs> Winter was a relatively new concept here. Well, and you've been here for a little bit of the first winter. So what do you think now? Um, Snow and I aren't friends is my general consensus. And I did, everybody kept saying that I did surprisingly well for my first like winter. Okay. So I'm gonna take that and run with it as a girl who grew up in California and then went to the school by the beach. Gotcha. Um, if you could be any kind of tree, what kind would you be? A redwood. They live a really long time. They're also like, kind of pillars of strength I think yeah and they are like really cool because even if like some of them if you go like if you hollow them out they're still standing so I think that they are like super important for the environment but also they're like metaphorically speaking as well they're like like you said pillars of strength lost my train of thought there it just went out the window <laughs> it's all good. I have those moments most times too. Um, what is your favorite thing to order from McDonald's? Chicken nuggets. No hesitation there whatsoever. Zero hesitation there. If anybody ever asks me what I want from McDonald's, it's 99% of the time it's chicken nuggets. Are you, are you more of like a six piece or a 10 piece? I'm a, a 10 piece person. Because I always think in the future, too, like, if I don't eat all 10 now, I have a snack for later. That's, that's a very good thought. That's yeah. very forceful. Um, so we only have a couple more minutes, a couple more questions. Um, out of these items, that is weird. I don't quite understand why that question got put in there. I apologize. That's going to be the same question as it was for Miss um, Aaron. However, I'm going to ask you the same question anyways, just because I can't. All right. So out of these items... Lights, floor, air conditioner, door, driveway. Which do you think is most important? I would say air conditioner. I feel like that's a very California answer. It is. Where I grew up, it, we would get up into like the 115s. Uh, you know, so air conditioner. Um, that's... In the wintertime, you don't need that. Just open the window. Yeah, this is it's true, but it, it, I live in a dusty part of town. I, did. I grew up in an agricultural town. You couldn't open up the windows. <laughs> gotcha. So on a more serious note, though, since we've kind of been asking these silly questions, um, getting to know you a little bit more, but uh, on a more serious note, what, um, do you have any words of encouragement for our students during this distance learning phase of Job Corps? Yeah, so I know that it's a new horizon for everyone involved, myself included. Um, and it's something that, you know, we're all learning on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's really important in this time to take care of yourself and kind of your mental well-being, as well as, you know, when you're learning to navigate and adjust to something new. So taking care of yourself is super important and self-care is huge. Perfect. Thank you. Self-care is a good thing. 
So with that question being asked, that does mean that we are unfortunately out of time and have to end this, uh, this interview. As much as I love uh, asking you random questions that mean absolutely nothing, um, we do have other, other work we have to get done. So with that being said, I just want to remind everybody to go over to our, uh, our YouTube channel, hit the like, subscribe button so you can stay up to date and get more episodes. And also over to our Facebook page, The Burdick Job Corps Community. Um, well, that's where we post a lot of our news and updates. And um, for the fact of a shameless plug, probably not a shameless plug, but anyways, I know Miss Nimi, you have a Facebook group of your own for students to kind of get connected. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I totally do. And I'm all here for a shameless plug because my group on Facebook is Miss Nimi's group and we meet every Tuesdays or we meet every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And I cover a whole bunch of topics. And this week uh, we're all about self-care, which is important. And if you want to, you can check out my live that I did yesterday that's posted on there where I shared my self-care practice or one of my favorite ones. So Perfect. go check it out. Awesome. So students just got to find, is there a certain name that you yeah, have? It's just Miss Nimi's group. If you just type that into the search bar, it'll bring it up. Perfect. Awesome. Well, to keep to our tradition, and um, I'm going to leave you with one thought, one last and final thought. Which state is most known for their extremely small soft drinks? Uh, Rhode Island. You would think because it's a tiny, tiny state, but it's Logically. unfortunately, the correct answer is Minnesota. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. That's a good one. It's kind of terrible, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, just want to remind everybody who's watching, stay safe and we'll see you soon.